Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. This video for Thursday, May 24th, 2012 is sponsored by Realtek. All right, let's get right into the mix today. Markets are slightly down after that monster late-day rally yesterday. And again, Dow is down about 56 points, S&P 500 down 6, NASDAQ down about 27. And the bottom line is, after such a dramatic reversal, we're not surprised to see the markets coming in just a little bit. Again, you're not surprised to see somewhat of a 50% Fibonacci retrace or even a 0.618 Fib level retrace, which is essentially what we have here, about a 50% Fib from the highs of the day today in regards to the lows from yesterday. Notice also how the two moving averages are right there. That's the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average, and a key trend line from the, the low a couple days ago and the highs from yesterday morning. Those two levels or those three levels are holding the market in check right now. All right, so again, that's what we're seeing here. This is a little bit of a retrace pullback. From everything I am seeing right now, the markets are still in a bullish light, meaning that the reversal yesterday was significant. You have holiday volume coming in play now, so that's going to be in effect tomorrow and then early next week. Tuesday, remember, the markets are closed on Monday, so Tuesday the trading gets back and gets started again. And assuming we do not take out this low here, or even this low here, assuming we don't take out these lows, the market generally should tread up for the next, I'd say, five trading days in general. All right, and again, that's what we're seeing on the charts right now. Now, again, as the market pulls back here, we just want to keep an eye on the levels. This is obviously a big level to hold. If it takes that out, it's got to hold the low from yesterday to be anywhere in the bullish range. All right, next up, let's take a look at a couple stocks. Facebook, symbol FB, trading up again today. Two days in a row it is up, as again, the bearish sentiment on Monday and Tuesday hit a major high, and again, that yielded a Wednesday bounce. Notice how the major bearish sentiment, the bashing on TV by the Kramers of the world and the, you know, the kind of the media just hacking at it, if you will, pushed this stock in one direction too far and once the average investor sold in panic the institutions bought it up and rallied it back up and that's the standard folks again you should all expect that to happen in fact you should read that and be able to see that ahead of time and sure enough I did and I talked to my members about it uh, Monday and Tuesday about that as a possibility and sure enough we have had two nice bounce days now taking a look at some other key stocks out there JP Morgan Chase down about 55 cents notice the beautiful hit of the 200 on an intraday basis and look at the bounce that's a great scalping opportunity and something that should be monitored well All right, and again we'll see again if it holds this 200 if it doesn't hold the 200 JPM has a good chance of going back here and again, just this is all about Europe. Any, any sort of weakness in the market is just people being unsure about what's going to happen in Europe, how it's all going to play out. We have to take a look at the dollar as that's a key indicator here. And the dollar is higher again today. And again, that's the result of the markets being lower. If you look at the low here, see the low on the dollar today as it kind of fell early in the day. And this is the UUP chart. But again, the low of the dollar right here at around the 11.30 a.m. time frame. Now go back to the SPY and look at where the markets topped out. The markets topped out right up here at the 11.30 time frame. So the inverse relationship continues to hold true. The dollar then started to rally and made new highs. And look at the market. The market fell back down in here. All right. So again, just something to kind of keep an eye on there. If we go back to the dollar, you can see again the dollar having a nice move up. It looks like it's starting to stall out just a little bit now as well. All right, next up, what we want to look at is the GLD, which is the gold chart. Gold not doing too much after a crazy reversal, much like the market. In fact, this chart is very reminiscent of the SPY, which I just showed you. Yesterday, you had the big drop early, the big reversal today, up a little bit, and then it's pulled back. Same thing applies to the market as what we just talked about uh, in relation to gold, and that is, you know, you're looking at the FIB retrace levels. Also, you have the GLD with a ton of support right down here in this vicinity. Uh, anywhere between these two lines is just a monster amount of support. And I wouldn't be surprised to see the GLD bounce a little bit early next week as well uh, as we continue to see this market um, try to fight higher in light holiday volume on either side of this weekend. All right, next up, what we want to look at the SLV. And generally, we see the SLV up today, which is a little different than gold in the markets, but it has come off those highs just like gold has come off the highs as has the market as well. So again, the SPY and the GLD both off their highs. SLV, same thing, off its highs as well. All right. 
Um, taking a look at the USO, which is the oil trade here, basically a flat day there. Same thing occurred. Oil was higher early and then has come to the flat line now, making a little bit of a bearish pattern. But again, in all fairness, spot crude will close at 2.30 p.m. Eastern time and be done for the day, except for electronic trading. It usually gets pretty quiet. All right, remember, folks, tomorrow is Friday, uh, the Friday before a three-day weekend here in the U.S., and things, again, can be very quiet Friday afternoon, my estimation, that will be the case. Looking at a couple other key stocks out there, Apple's always a good one to look at. Apple uh, selling here a little bit to the downside. We've seen Apple coming down here, down about five and change. If you look at the daily chart, let's go flip over to the daily chart. Apple's had a great bounce off my master level, which again we were calling for, and it now is just stalling right here. I think it's going to make a bullish pattern of consolidation as it goes sideways to lower for a couple days, and then I think it's going to break higher to the 50 moving average and tag that level. All right, just a little point to watch there. A couple other stocks of note here that I think is interesting. I think it's important to look at Research in Motion, not because Research in Motion is a good trade setup right now, but because it is going to eventually get to the level that I've been calling for for literally months, and that would be the under $10 level. Once it gets into the single digits, I will become interested in that stock. Okay, And it's down $0.44 cents today at $10.65. So it has about $0.65 cents to go to that even number of $10, and then we'll see again once it gets there how things play out. Other stocks of note to take a look at, Google today, Google pulling back a little bit. Google, again, still above the 200 on the daily moving average uh, on the daily chart. As long as it doesn't get below on a closing basis, that you just rank this as a neutral chart for now. It's just been in a choppy trend sideways for this period of time over the last month or so. All right, guys, just a reminder, In the Money Stocks continues to make profits here. They've been flowing like crazy these last few weeks. When people have been losing money, the average person's been losing money in the market, members here at InTheMoneyStocks.com have been making tons of money because we've been positioned for the short side first and then on the long side and just every which way. It's just been a beautiful little thing, folks. And again, we're going to continue to just maximize the analysis we give, proprietary analysis, putting us in the right position to make money constantly no matter which way the market's going. You can take the seven-day free trial here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Join the Research Center to get information and analysis on the markets as well as swing trades and proprietary secrets. If you're a swing trader, you're an investor, the Research Center is perfect for you. And again, for day trading, the intraday stock chat. Have a great day afternoon folks i'm gonna get back to money making here with my members at in the i look forward to seeing you soon take care